Hello again, this is the Watering Man, Spiritual Toolbox number 171, John chapter 3, uh, recording number 25, and audio recording number 489, examination table number 151. Let's continue dissecting this, laying it out on the table, proving it for ourselves. Not may prove, this is a stocky bonzo, okay? No doubt. Make it solid in yourself. Best you can. And as you increase, keep increasing. Keep studying. Show yourself approved. The worker that needeth not be ashamed. Rightly dividing or accurately handling the word of truth. Word of God. The thought processes of God. Right? For yourself. Not as just an outward show to shine the cup up and look good. No. You're going to change that stuff that you think inside. Metanoia. Repentance. Change the way you think. So you have the true piety, the true righteousness of God increasing inside you. And not just this appearance of it. This is what that Nicodemus cat is trying to do. Trying to show you and say, man, I'm a leader of this. How you do it? Man, you shine me outside the cup. Yeah. Bull crap, right? You tell him, yeah, that's bull. Get out of here with that old dog thinking, shut up, be still, put a muscle on it, right? Just like the pattern son did. It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word, every thought process that proceeds out of the mouth of God, not your barking, yapping bull crap. Shut up, you false accuser, you imposter of light. You baffling wind. Bark, 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 bark. Shut up. Hee haw, donkey. Snakey snake. I'm not listening to you. Turn your back on that crap. And go into God with, in hot pursuit. Right? And by studying this document, you're laying out there and dissecting it, getting it for yourself the best that you can, and that ability to do that as your ability to love more like God first loved you increases your understanding is enlightenment to that. Oh, right. oh, oh, wow, this is great. And your ability to acquire more becomes greater, increases. God shows you more. And the more that you know, the more that you know, oh, oh my goodness, I don't know. This is growing so much. Oh, my goodness, the more you know that there is to know. This is this love of God is truly beyond the description of mere words. It's beyond that. Like God's downloading this thing into my universe. We're not born with a USB port for God to plug it in here and go through a wormhole or through a cord and plug it into somebody else. No, we got to use these words or actions to try to convey it to someone else. Articulate it. And a lot of times it's miscommunicated. Because it, it's fallible. God's not fallible. If you agree in hot pursuit of God doing it, chopping that out, skim it out, it's way beyond your words. That love, agree with God's love, his increase, he'll increase you. It's not the way you think. He'll change the way you think. To what you was right lying on, thinking this is absolute truth, there's a good chance it's not completely the truth. Hmm. Give that a possibility. Oh, oh, Father, I see. You're not a big bad tyrant. You're not a bully. No wonder. I never could understand that. Now I'm starting to understand it more and more and more. Wow, you're awesome. You truly are my exceeding great reward. And I want more and more and more. So you're coming back. You're appearing. You're making your appearance in my mind. As I overcome, like an overcoming child of God, uh, a, a cloud, 
God's appearing in your clouds in the, of the mind. <laughs> okay? It's not with outward observation, like Jesus was telling his Pharisees that were trying to shine an outside the cup and then condemn, I'll condemn you to hell and all stuff. You don't believe it the way we're doing and you don't look at our shiny cup and uh, see your reflection and think, man, this is great. And they were exclusively religious separatists that separate you from God. You eat of that crap, you shall surely die. Right? Don't do it. Don't you do it. No. Don't do it. Oh, no, you did it. You shot your foot off. <laughs> right? <laughs> Better do that again. Right? <laughs> A lot harder to walk in there with, with your foot hat. Toes chopped off, and that gonna keep chopping it. It gets worse and worse. I chopped that foot, that leg, ten times, and it just keeps getting worse. It doesn't get better at all. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. Right? Doing this insanity. Definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over and over, expecting a different result. The guy the word of God, chop that toe off. <laughs> God, why'd you do that to me? I'll do it again. Pow! Oh, it's getting worse. Oh, twice as bad. Whack, whack. He said, you don't even know how to have a leg. Chop plum off up to the knee. Man, I can't hardly walk. Can't hardly live. It gets harder and harder and harder to agree to exist between that fleshy thinking and coming right back into God. It's right minded, doesn't it? That's an old silly way of looking at it. But man, it, whenever you study them, if you can make things real, like crazy or real, real uh, out there kind of thinking, wow, that's crazy, you'll remember it. Chances of remembering it's a lot better. Because in those storms of life, man, you're like bang, dazed, right? It's hard to see, think, to understand. Clearly, whenever you're under all this pressure, oh, these storms of life, this thalepsis, these fiery trials, didn't God say He'll the Holy He'll baptize you with the in in the Holy Spirit and in fire? Oh, that's still a tiptoe into the tulips, hmm? Wasn't it? That's the Pharisaical way, isn't it? Hmm. Huh. Oh, God doesn't do nothing to you, but just a good thing. Well, see, it's all good, but your perception of it. <laughs> Better change the way you reevaluate, okay? Are you truly acknowledging God is great? And all this anthropos thinking in yourself because you know you could be if you trusted in that carnality your own carnal mind that is enmity with god your own non-spiritual thinking your own self don't you think you could be off missing the mark offenseful to yourself <laughs> Be sober minded. Wake up, you sleeper. <laughs> it's like telling you, quit doing that to yourself. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Trying to show you here. Okay. Now, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> it burns. <coughs> okay. Now, Let's start out, we'll continue in John chapter 3, verse 4. I was doing a little bit on Nicodemus there, and I'll continue a little bit, okay? But let's start out reading it, okay? Nicodemus saith unto him. He's talking again, replying to Jesus, okay? How can a man be born when he is old? Now, Nicodemus Cats just looking with, they can't see, hear, taste, touch, or smell with in the spirit at all. 
don't understand God at all. He's not allowed to, right? And uh, how can he be born when he's old? Can he enter into enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? <laughs> This guy's, <laughs> isn't that your carnal mind? I want proof. Well, as you agree in the God through faith, God will increase that faith to the truth, to the truthfulness of God, little bit by little bit by little bit. All right? All right, let's get to it. We're down to Nicodemus, which I was starting last time, okay? Nicodemus is translated from the word 3530, and it's N-I-K-O-D-E-M-O-S. I covered this before, so I'm not going to go into all the roots. I'll just go into some, and I'm opening it up a little bit more, okay? Now, <clears throat> it's 3530, proper masculine noun, and it comes from 5, uh, 3534, okay, which is... Uh, Nikos or Nikos N I K O S Strong's G thirty five thirty four Nikos Nikos okay Nikos. and um, that word means victory okay it's victory in this Nicodemus way or triumphant and convincing you to go which way yeah don't trust God trust me right <laughs> okay. That's why this is because Nicodemus is speaking here, right? Is is one of the cat here. Yeah. Okay. And that word comes from thirty five twenty nine. It's Nike. That word means victory. Let's see how they pronounce it. Strong's G thirty five twenty nine. Nike. 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 It's Nike. It's like you know, uh, the shoes. Nike. Feminine noun primary word, okay, and it's victory, a uh, conquest, the means of success, right, this call mine, I tricked them, I convinced them to stay with us, stay with my way, your old ego's way of thinking, so it just got out, right, that kind of acrostic for ego, E-G-O, all right, all right, now let's back up a little bit. So that Nicodemus comes from 3534, it's basically victory, and it's a means of, to obtain that victory. Anyway, anyway the, 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 the ends justifies the means. Yeah. All right. I'll manipulate you anyway, this whole carnal thinking, okay? And it also comes from 1218, right? And that word is... Strong's G, 1218. Deimos. Right. Deimos. It's a mass of the heathen people, or those heathen thought processes, the ungodly thought processes, isn't it? Unregenerated stuff. It's not taking and getting that, that strands or rope that's been twisted by God in the increase, giving you strength, and, and so you can uh, get make the right judgment, the right decision. Okay, because a judgment can be both an acquittal and an uh, adverse sentence. Just like in the eye of the storm. You got to choose which way to go. Okay. Yeah, okay. Now, this uh, Demos, Demos, D-E-M-O-S, okay, that comes from, uh, hang on just a minute. Yeah, it's a mass of the heathen people, okay. Uh yeah, it's victory in it, uh, victorious in your own self. You know, this Pharisee guy is, okay? Hang on just a minute. Yeah. Now, that, that Demas is the etymology of that word, because from 1210. Get the etymology of these words coming down that makes up this, um, word that they translate is uh, um, Nicodemus, okay? And then we'll get in what it says in Nicodemus. It gives you a more fuller uh, um, picture, okay? 
And this D E O, this word. Strong's G twelve ten. No. 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 It's a root word, okay? And it means to bind or tie, to fasten, to restrict you from getting to God. This demon, this, this, this carnal way of thinking, this pharisaical way that Nicodemus is doing is to restrict you, to manipulate you from getting that increase into God. It wants you to get an increase into it. It's old. You're old, me, myself, and I. Well, yeah, just polish off the cup and be full of crap. You know what I mean? Like, you're full of crap, man. Right? Well, you eat from your tree of knowledge of your own right-mindedness, and yeah, you're increasing in crap thinking. Right? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> right here, uh, to bind, to fasten with chains, to throw into chains. <laughs> you know, it's it's just, it, it's time to dag on, trick you. Using any means necessary to dag on, just. Man, that's, it's a, it's a, it's a, man, that's, that bull crap and liar. You're dang, man. <laughs> it's trying to conquer you by tricking you. Just like that Jacob means a trickster, a used car salesman, a politician, a, a heel grabber, you know, anything. Heel grabber. Well, you walk when your foot hits the ground, you heel in your feet. Heel toe, heel toe. Right? You're walking. Speaking of you're walking, you're living in your existence. It's grabbing at that hill to trip you up. Now you gotta go through nature. Nature, character, and authority change all the way through that nighttime, right? When, like, Jacob wrestled with the angel, that messenger of God. Right? With God himself. Okay? And it touched him in the hollow of his thigh, his reproductive, um, what he, where he reprodu reproduces those. So he couldn't reproduce that same old carnal stuff in that area again. And when the day stars rising in his heart, in his mind, in his thought processes, he thought differently. He couldn't walk, couldn't live the same way again. He had a name change, a nature, character, and authority. In the Old Testament, it's S H E M. And they pronounce that shame. Not merely saying in Jesus' name. It's it's actually going through this experience. Now it's in Israel, meaning God prevails. Or may he may God rule as God in your mind. The true God. Not that old carnality. Not your own me, myself, and I. Trickster, serpent nature, all this stuff. Trying to be God for you. Mm -mm. Don't let it be um, conquer you. Check you into a green. Staying with its own way. Making your stand in your own me, myself, and I. I got a right. And you fall away. You die. You separate from God's way. No, turn from that and get a full board into God and increase in the God. Make a stand in Christ. And the anointed of God increase into God. All right? Okay. Now, this Pharisee, this uh, Nicodemus, says victory among the people, among those thought processes in the mind, all this stuff, humanistic ways, victory for yourself. You might see, they're trying to check you out. This Pharisee, they're Shine the outside the cut. Don't mess with that inside stuff now. All right? And the Thayers, it says, a, a member of the Sanhedrin. I touched on that last time. Well, let's go a little bit deeper. Who took the place, took the part of Jesus. Jesus. God is salvation. Yahweh is salvation, right? Y-H-W-H, right? The Sanhedrin... He goes on and says, I'm just going to give you a little part of this. A little bunch here, okay? The higher council of the ancient Jews, okay? Consisting of 71 members and exercising authority 
from above, uh, from about the second century BC. Now, see, their authority is kind of like that paid ga ga goo goo. So there's instructors, there are many instructors among you, but not many fathers, pateers. Okay? Now, pateers' way, ways of instructing and correcting their discipline is much gentler. And it's true. It brings you to the truth of God. Okay? Just agree with me, my child. Be reasonable. No, this paid guy, guy, goo goos, and this fair cynical crap, they, if you don't do what they want, wham, they want to whip you with the whip. They want to beat you up. What are they going? We're going to stone you to death. Here comes the head stoner. Wham! We're going to kill out that old thinking process in you. Yeah, and they take to smash you with a rock, with a physical rock, where you get that headstone from. Okay, they're mean, All right? Don't mash your teeth on you, ah, right? <laughs> Throw rocks at you, verbal rocks, slander you, malicious lies. Okay, Pharisees. It says. Uh, Shine the outside of the cup, but inside's full of all kinds of dead man's bones. All kinds of that carnality. They want to leave that alone. Because, you know, that's really who I am. I just shine the outside of this cup to look good. Yeah. You know, you got to look your best. Got to wear your big suit. Yeah. 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 Drive a big old fancy car. Yeah. I wouldn't be cut. Cut. Uh, dead in no... Nothing less than the best car or the best truck or live in the most great mansion. Yeah, I got to do all this. Ah, heck with all them poor people, really. We ain't going to help them. Unless it looks good. And then, yeah, I might help them a little bit. Give them a dollar or two. But that's all I need here is a, it's two dollars. And then they're setting right on that one. Here, I got about half a million dollars right Oh, well, we'll give you two. We might give you three dollars. Makes us look good now. It's not genuine godliness. Right? Now, <clears throat> uh, this is an alternative to obeying God in one's own righteousness. Uh, there, there, this is a is an alternative to God's way, God's righteousness, God's love beyond words. Their ways is full of crap and self, self um, promotion. They want to become popular, just goals of it. They want to look good, yeah, yeah. right? They want to say the truth. They don't want to act the truth. They don't want to really do nothing, right? Didn't now whenever they was given, there's all these like real rich people coming around and putting big, a lot of money in the supporting true ministers. Okay, and here come this poor beggarly woman that only had this like two pennies. To, okay. Like just a little bit. She put all that she had in there. And the others started making fun of her. Taking them, putting her down, slandering her. Because you only put that in there. Why didn't you put this big bunny in there? But she didn't have it. And that was all she had. Now, what did Jesus say? Now, who, who gave the most to all this? That one, the lady. Who did the will of God? The one that gave all she had. Isn't that kind of like just going in in hot pursuit? Everything you got. Don't stay just out here. Now here I'll give you a little bit of small fraction. Of this so I look good. Shine me outside the cup. So I can remain a Pharisee, or, you know, 
You still see all those plaques and stuff I got on the wall that says I'm great. Yeah. All these diplomas and all this stuff that says I'm a... Yeah. Yeah. Yuck. <laughs> Spit you out of, out of his mind. That's absolutely denied. That's not going to be permitted. Take your own temperature. Okay? Don't allow that stuff in inside you. Don't be that way. Okay? Now, these uh, Pharisees shine the outside of the cup, and they... Uh, but they don't deal or change the way they think of the dead men's bones was inside, that carnality inside of them. Okay? They want to protect that. Okay? They're an alternative to God's way of thinking. They want to take the place of Jesus, of Jesus, Father God, Yahweh, is salvation, is deliverance from this thing. Oh, they know a better way. Here, do it this way. Just shine the outside cup. It's much easier. It's more like tiptoeing through the tulips. Hmm. Meep, 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 meep. Alarm, alarm. This is wrong. <laughs> right. That's not going to, that's not going to be uh, permitted. God's not going to permit them to go on beyond his rudimentary things they're gonna fall away they've, they've eaten of that bullshit thinking that worthless and detestable stuff they're gonna fall away they're a big old pile of that crap trying to be the lord of the flies right all right um let me see here okay and you just say man that really stinks Okay, you know, that way. Now, in this, uh, yeah, I'll cover that. Nikos, that's a victory triumph. They're trying to be triumphant by checking you, okay? And I went through that stuff, okay? Kind of in a uh, speeded up version. I'll just skip over this stuff because I kind of touched on it good enough. I've taught that before, okay? Now, let's go to the next word. Okay, now that Nicodemus cat, he's been, he's just coming in the darkness to trick you. Trying to butter you up and, ugh. That's that old carnal, carnal stinking thinking. It's an alternative to God. They're bitter, bitter enemies of Jesus Christ and his cause. Right? They're shining outside the cup and keeping you inside, saying you don't have to do it this way. You don't have to change the way you think. That's just, oh man, that's sick of me. Okay? Now, says, Nicodemus saith unto him, okay, now I think we're on, how can a man be born when he is old, okay? Let me get down here to it. Yeah. How. The word that they translate as how is 4459. It's P-O-S, this word. Strong's G, 4459, post, post. Post, okay. All right, it's a particle. It's uh, from the uh, an adverb from the base of forty two twenty six, an interrogative particle of manner. It's in what way or how, and it goes right on to say here. Uh, in what way? Uh, Strong says, in what ways? I, also, it's exclamatory. In what way? What do you mean? They, they can't see, hear, taste, touch, or smell nothing with that eye, that eye, that big log in their own eye. And they're trying to tell you how to do it. Here, what do you mean? You got to be regenerated, born again. What? What are you talking about? How you be born again? Can you go in your mother's womb and be born again? They're dumb and rock. They see, hear, taste, touch, and smell with those five senses, but it's got that all that big old log in it. That ego, the edge is trying to edge God out, trying to give an alternative to to, to the way Jesus was telling them to do it. Yahweh's salvation. 
They'd say, no, 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 no. Sign outside the church. Leave that inside stuff all along. Leave that stuff inside of you at Cornell. Yeah, just keep going. Just pay attention to me. Okay? So how much do I got to give up? What do you mean? Surrender all of it? No, no, no. They're trying to give you an alternative to God. Bullshit flag on that play. That's worthless and detestable. Penalize you the game, you lose. Get out of here. Here, give me that duct tape and that sock. Bang! Right? Those thought processes in your mind. Throw the BS flag on it. That's worthless and detestable. To your salvation, to your deliverance from that thing. You cannot, God will absolutely, de oh you, ooh yuck, absolute denial to be preceded, go up, uh, be increased in the God. Ooh yuck. Okay? I'll continue there next time. I, I got a place to take you. Uh, uh, a little like reference thing. I can't give a lot of these because it takes so long to cover them, but I'm going to delve a little bit into this one. Okay? And uh, just so you can look at it a little bit before I get into it and delve into it. Just a couple words in that. I'm not going to go real, real deep, except for a couple words, a few words. In Matthew chapter 26, verses 39 through 42. Okay, uh, thank you. This has been, uh, let me see, Spiritual Toolbox number 171. Okay.